Good morning everyone, Park Rat Pad right here, getting ready to head out there and find some cool stuff. All right, Whew, Kimberly is working this morning. She may join me later this afternoon. Who knows? All I know is it's cooler right now. It's going to get hot soon. I'm going to start swinging and digging. Digits twisted, people. We got to be getting closer to some really good stuff. Got a piece of aluminum there, got a pull tab there, and down here, just got this big old chunk of rusty stuff. That's my morning so far. Now, we all know that the more you work a property, the fewer things there are going to be to find because you're taking more out. That's when it becomes really important, like at this stage of the game, to dig everything that beeps, regardless of the number. Don't pay attention to the number, barely pay attention to the sound. If it beeps it digs that's what we're doing here today there's gonna be a lot of junk it might be a short video because I don't want to show a lot of junk but it is gonna be what it is gonna be and I guarantee you I'm gonna clear an area out and then when I come back I'll try that same area with a different frequency or a different machine keep stacking the odds in my favor as best I can back to it who welcome back everybody just got me a knife blade can't find the rest of the knife in there but i got the dangerous part we'll stick that in the pouch <laughs> moving forward woohoo we got our first coin of the day and the password is crusty oh yeah save that one in the nick of time okie dokie we got crusty buddy number two a little bit better shape than the first one all right, in the pouch with that one. Almost time for a soda fizz break. Whoo! Well, now that makes three in a row on the crusty buddies. In the pouch it goes. You have this tendency to want to stick toward the shady areas, but you got to get out in the sun. You got to get uncomfortable sometimes. That's what it takes. That's what we're doing. Whew. <coughs> okay everybody let's check out this bad boy at first I thought it was some sort of snap or something but as we can see there's threads on the outside doesn't look like any on the inside I honestly got no idea what this piece was but I know it's not a piece of junk aluminum it's not a crusty penny it is cool if you've got an idea what it really is, say so down in the comments. Here we go again. Another target. Another crusty buddy. All right. I think that's four for the day. we just getting started. <sighs> Let's get to the other side of this building and see what we can find over there. Besides a swarm of bees. Okay, now we're talking two targets in this hole. Both of them from a watch. Based on the size of this thing, I would have to say a wristwatch. Awesome stuff. Hopefully there's more to it out here. Yeah, I would definitely say that's wristwatch size. Awesome stuff. Ta-da-da! I'm back. Y'all know I like strange things. I love getting some lead. I love the oddball pieces and stuff. Check this bad boy out. Okay, so I'm swinging along, doing my thing, thinking a happy song, dee dee dee, bingo, I get a signal there. Oh, it comes up like a pull tab. I'm going to dig it anyways, because i got to get those pull tabs out of the way. And then, I found it, down in there. Look at that. That is like prototype, first generation pull tab right there. You can see where it's barely folded in on the back that would have given the user a little something something to grab onto the nodule in the middle for a good seal at the end of the opening this is 
incredible. I have never ever found one like this before. I am a super happy rat. Could we say bucket list pull tab? Hmm. Welcome back everybody. Whew, good signal there. Big chunk of brass. There's no hole in the top of this, so it can't be for a torch or a power washer. So I'm guessing this is just some sort of standard cap, but hey, a chunk of brass is a chunk of brass. In the pouch it goes. Okay, so I've been hammering this area pretty good. Just got back on the crusties over there. Here's one. Hopefully there'll be a few more. Well, dang, this sucker here is just a little washer, but it was putting off a perfect sound. I was expecting a wheat penny out of that one. I'm not disappointed, just who surprised. You guessed it, folks. Crusty Buddy had another one to the pouch. So far, the best find of the day right there. We got us a 1979 copper. Yeah. That'll work. All right, good to get one that's not crusty. Let's hope there's a few more like this. Crusty, yeah. Definitely seen better days. Well, now that's what you call putting in the work. Whew, had a signal here. Sounded good in one direction, not in another. Started digging. Pulled a piece of aluminum. Still getting a signal, kept on digging. Got a crusty nail. Still got a signal, kept on a digging. Had a big old chunk of rusty junk and stuff there. No idea what it was. Still got a signal down in there. Pulled a big old copper pipe. You know I like copper, we'll turn that into cash later on down the road. Still got a signal. Digging and digging and digging. One more crusty buddy. Whoo wee. That was a workout, but I got it all. Still going strong, everybody. I think it's safe that I can declare myself the king of crusties. They keep coming up. I keep throwing them into pouch. Swinging on to the next one. See you there. You get one guess. Yep, you were right. Another one. All right, just figured this one out. Get it out of hiding. 1980 copper. All right, I'll take that. Whew, I do believe it's time for a break soon. And we are back. Whew, working around close to this old light pole. Somebody must have kept their dog chained up out here. Apparently one of them little foofy dogs too, so that's cool. See what else is out here. And we follow that up with a shield penny, fairly modern. All right, you just never know what's down there. All right, I think this makes number four for the property, but number one for me, I got a key. Fairly modern key, but that's okay. Love getting the keys. All right, I'm taking a break. All right, had to do some digging around out there. Got a few canned pieces, a super old pull tab. And then boom, a 2006 dime, best coin of the day. I don't know how much more steam I got left in me, but we're gonna keep trying. Okay, everybody, it is wrap up time. Not a particularly spectacular hunt out there this morning. Uh, get a good chunk of copper for the scrap bin. Uh, lots of iron, the regular typical junk and stuff. Each one of these was a hole I had to dig. Even little stuff like that. Look at this odd cap. I thought that was cool. This strange piece. I have no idea what it is. A knife blade. I did get a key. A Walmart key, so fairly modern. A washer. We got uh, 13 pennies and a dime. No Wheaties in there. And only a couple of coppers. Most of them zinc. Uh, parts from a wristwatch. Uh, parts from a dog lead my favorite find of the day this old pull tab which of course back in these days They were called zip tabs, but uh, that's the oldest one. I've ever found right there late 50s for sure awesome stuff Okay, everybody. Thank you for coming along and enjoying this adventure. 
I really appreciate your support. These are hot days. It's heavy work, that's for sure, but uh, fun. Gonna get it done while I can. Very limited time on this property. So, until the next episode, like, comment, subscribe. God bless. And never ever forget, you are always only one hole away from a really good day. God bless.